You're an outstanding guy. I really think you're going to be a big success. But for now, James, you're fired. Stephanie, you're hired. Good luck. No, oh, those, of course, weren't the words that Seattle native James Sun wanted to hear from the Trumpster. Leading up to the latest season finale of The Apprentice, James, the entrepreneur, was the odds-on favorite to beat out Stephanie, the attorney. But to everybody's surprise, Donald Trump hired Stephanie over James. And to this day, James is kind of confused as to why he lost out on the opportunity of a lifetime. I mean, what was the deal? You know, I, I'm very, very confused right now because I was the odds-on favorite. I was a leading project manager. I won. I got the record. And the whole show is about leadership. It's about showing your business acumen in a leadership position. And so if you look at the previous winners, they've all had winning records as project managers. So I thought, wow, I've got a great shot here because my competitors don't have that. And so I'm very shocked, and I'm still shocked. I think mm -hmm. about it going, why did Donald Trump fire me? I still don't understand. Yeah, yeah, and I can see that you're still fired up. Let's listen into what Trump said before you were fired and Stephanie was hired. <laughs> Fantastic job. Thank you. But by going under the radar, I'm a little bit concerned. We'll find out, okay? We'll find out. James, you're terrific in every respect. You're totally creative. I love creative people. But there were certain things and certain di dialogue that you gave during the course, and you know what I'm talking about. Okay, I don't know what he's talking about. What's his dialogue? What does he mean by dialogue? So when he said that, he said, uh, there are certain things near your dialogue, and you know what I'm talking about. And I just, I was shocked. I was sitting there going, what is Mr. Trump referring to? Because when he says something about, you should know what I'm talking about, then I should know what he's talking about. Uh -huh. And so I actually wrote like a five-page blog on my website analyzing every single thing that happened because I took 150 pages worth of journaling mm -hmm. while I was on the show. And so I looked through every single reference, and I could not find one thing he's referring to. So uh -huh. a lot of people ask me, James, during the commercial time, did you say something to make him mad? I said, no, I didn't <laughs> say a single word to him. It's like there was some sort of back conversation going on, and there wasn't, right? And you know what? It's unfair to the viewers, because the viewers want to follow the story and know why did James get fired. And so I came home to actually over 10,000 emails of people asking me, why did you get fired? What dialogue is he referring to? And all kinds of speculation out there why I was fired. Well, that happens when you don't give a good reason. Mm -hmm. well, now, now, Donald Trump, don't get me wrong, he, he really makes no, no apologies for, for loving beautiful women. Stephanie's an attractive <laughs> woman. Do you think there's anything... Wait, wait, have you met him? I've met him before. Yeah, he oh, does. Oh, he must. Did he go? Oh, hey, how are you? He did was he? admiring. Yes, he around. did. <laughs> he did. <laughs> yeah. So, well, do you think that has anything to, to do with it? The well, fact that she was a woman what? and a beautiful one. That is one of the speculations out there. But I love Stephanie. She's a good, good friend of mine. She's responsible. She's yeah. got a great background. So I hate know, to I, ask I you that as a woman, I, but I, I wonder. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I wouldn't want to say that. That's why. Mm -hmm. I think she's got a great background for the job. But from a show perspective, I thought I won because hey, you got to show results, and I did that. I will tell you on this show, he said I collect beautiful buildings and beautiful women on this show right <laughs> oh. here. You were. You mentioned you said you were the you were the project manager, which right. means you, you you had that position. And Stephanie wasn't. Right. So. I don't understand. This never happened before? I think maybe you should get, get Donald Trump on the line right now. We can call him and you can ask him that question <laughs> because I'm just a, as confused as you are. You, the winners need to be project manager. They need to show leadership. And she never was. And she never was. All right. <laughs> do you think it has anything to do with the fact that you mentioned your company's name live on the finale? Well, you know, a, a lot of people are asking about that, saying, you know, Donald Trump likes to promote his own show and his own company, and I actually promoted Zudingo.com on the, on the live show. But I'll be honest with you, I didn't mean to. Don Jr. asked me a question of, can I see the bigger picture? And I'm a CEO of a company. I said, yeah, I'll give you an example. And so it was kind of a natural response. Now, if I were to know that was my intention, I was trying to promote, the, promote my company, I would have given the whole pitch on what Zudango's about, but I didn't do that. It was just a natural response. So do I regret ever saying that? No, I don't, because that's who I am. As a CEO of my company, it's not chief executive officer. You gotta be the chief evangelist officer. You gotta evangelize okay. your company. So let's let's let's. You try to contact Trump, right? I did. Did he talk to you at all? <laughs> well, it, we're in communication right now, and what's interesting is that. We're actually working on a certain deal, believe it or not. Like wait, wait, you're working on a deal now with Donald Trump? Yes, we're working separate on Separate from the show? Separate from the show. Huh. Did he ever tell you at this point, or do you have a speculation as to why really you were fired? I still don't know. He won't Maybe he wants you to do this other deal. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Um, the deal, though, is not that I would work for Donald Trump, mm -hmm. but that I would partner with one of his companies with my company.
So we yeah. have some interesting announcements so, that will be made. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. And being you're not going to make them right here on Northwest Afternoon, your hometown. I, I can get a drum roll even. <laughs> well, at least I get to live here and still be able to partner with Donald Trump on something. Oh, so, so you will be able to live here in the partnership. Right, right. I can't. And there has with been, Donald hmm. Trump be building something here. Yeah, well, that's what I was. You know what? I'm, I'll give you a clue. All I, right, I right. have an internet business. Yeah. And he also has an internet business. It's called TrumpUniversity.com. And so there's some play there that we're, uh, we're actually uh, doing something very interesting. So, so. you're partnering. Mm -hmm. Would you ever work for him now that you've been through this experience? You know what? I think, Partnering it's is to, different. I think it's better to partner CEO to CEO rather than working for someone. And so I'd rather partner with him than work for him. So, so maybe you were let go so you could be his partner so you wouldn't have to work ooh, for him. Huh? Ooh. Huh? Huh? There's lots of speculation out there. I don't know. <laughs> all right. So, James, what's up next for you? Anything else aside from all your... I, you know, I'm running my company. Um, I'm actually writing a book as well. Uh -huh. How about television? I'm, well, you know, one of the things about that is I'm producing an internet television show with the other apprentice You're candidates. You're onto something So today. we are onto something. I'm going to worm this out of you. Yeah, he's got his good. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Congratulations. I get the feeling you're a winner no matter what. We'll be right back. <laughs>